staph infections are very common in humans. We have staph and strep germs on our skin and bodies all the time. When you get cut or injured, something that injects or causes the staph to enter your skin, which is usually a natural barrier to the bacteria on our skin and in the outside world, it can start to reproduce and increase the population in that injury then causes an inflammatory reaction in the tissue, and this is a staph infection. Staph infections are treated by opening up the area that's infected if it's a closed abscess type area so that the staph and the purulence that collects there, which is cellular debris, can drain. You also use antibiotics, which are specifically designed to treat and attack the staph germ and kill it and that is the primary way to reduce the infection. Hand washing is also a good way to cut down on staph because if you get cut or something you have staph on your fingers and you rub the wounds or whatever and you can put push staph down into those wounds and make the infection occur. Staph and strep and other germs are commonly on your body at all times from head to toe, in your mouth, in your nose, everywhere and once it enters the body's protective layer of skin, it can cause infections. Or if it gets inside the body where there is less movement of air, such as lungs and all, you can get staph infections of the lung and so forth. But the staph is present all the time, everywhere on your body and everybody else's body. There are also a new type of staph called methicillin-resistant staph that is a much more serious infection because there are only a few antibiotics that can treat that bacteria and kill it. So particularly in hospitals, people must wash their hands and make sure they don't contact other patients or people that may have this methicillin-resistant staff.